speculation about Prince Harry's potential return to the UK to reconcile with the royal family has been met with scepticism, especially considering his recent missed opportunities to connect. Harry's exclusion from key royal events such as June's Trooping the Colour, a bypass chance to meet King Charles in May, and not being on the guest list for the wedding of his good friend, Duke of Westminster, have raised doubts about his intentions. Royal expert Jenny Bond expressed her views, if Harry had really wanted to confront his family and patch things up, he would surely have allotted more time to his recent visits, so that his father at least could make arrangements to see him. She further doubted Prince William's inclination to reconcile at this juncture, saying, I don't think there's any chance of William wanting to do so, particularly with all he has on his plate right now. So, I'll believe this when I see it, but it will be lovely if he could indeed spend some time, perhaps at Balmoral, during the summer and make peace with his father. It is reported that Prince Harry was left feeling upset and emotional upon seeing footage of the King's official birthday celebration, which included images of his late mother, Princess Diana. A source revealed, he can't believe it's come to this, and he's now saying he's going to fly over and force them to face him. He's still a prince, after all, they're still his family, and whether they like it or not, he's refusing to just be cast aside. He continues to be heartbroken and confused by the way he's being treated by the royals. It's as though he doesn't exist anymore. An insider has shared that Harry is finding it particularly difficult to cope with the lack of connection with his once beloved sister-in-law Princess Catherine. The informant continued, he's not getting updates on his father or Kate's health, and even basic communications are pretty well non-existent. At a recent event, Harry spoke candidly about the loss of his mother, urging children not to suppressing their emotions as he once did. Prince Harry imparted to a group of bereaved children that clinging to grief could eat away at them, reflecting on his own experiences. You convince yourself that the person you've lost wants you, or you need to be sad for as long as possible to prove to them that they are missed. But then there's this realization of, no, they must want me to be happy he expressed to them.